We have a trader who turned just $293 into $171,000 in just a month. Someone turned just $1,000 into $180,000. And we have a trader who turned $2,700 into $69,000 overnight. And we're starting off with a huge gain by Dasher Love. About 5 months ago, he was about to quit and give up after losing 10k. But luckily, he didn't, and it looks like he'll be retiring from Vandy permanently. In just a month, he turned $293 into $171,000. $94.90. If he could do it, you can too. Highly regarded as usual. I spotted a couple of interesting details about his trades. Firstly, we can see that his risk level is labeled as very safe. Secondly, we can see that he has a margin account, which is already a bit contradictory. But then, when we take a closer look at his trades, we can see that on February the 7th at 13:55, which is about 4 minutes until 2 p.m., he was heavily buying spy call options with a striking price at $416 and an expiration date on February the 8th, which is just one day till expiry. He held them for just 46 minutes and made $125,840. I honestly can't believe this. He's basically gambling and is somehow profitable and what perplexes me the most is the fact that his trading is somehow considered very safe. So a few months back, he lost every single penny to his name because he was regarded. He took a few months off, worked on himself and got back in the game with $293.86. He won't explain all of the positions he did, but what started him off good was shorting Microsoft and Snapchat on earnings. That got him to a few grand and since then he made every right call. His message to you all is just believe in yourself. If a highly regarded depressing person like him can do it with $300, you could do even better. He's definitely hooked but he's getting himself out now. He might just put 200k into crypto and spend 20k on expense. He still lives in his car and has nothing for Uncle Sam to take. Well, I'm glad that he's getting himself out, but I don't think going all in into crypto is the best way to do that. And if he ends up doing that, I just hope he doesn't lose it all. Next up, we have another path to redemption by Gentle Giant 91 He converted just 1k into 180k in 10 days of February. He's 31 years old with 250k annual income. After a good run in 2020, where at one point he had 750k in his account, he managed to lose it all, every single penny in a week. His losses till February the 1st of 2023 stood at 484k in Robinhood. As much as he wanted to make fun of his situation, it was unbelievably scarring. The only good thing was that he didn't own a home or wasn't settled, otherwise guilt would be through the roof. He took a few months of break and returned with just 1k and a set of rules, and those rules resulted in a 180 times return. So here are his major wins. The first one was pure luck. I can't man, I can't. How does he talk about rules and his first win was a result of luck? Anyway, he bought meta calls before the earnings report and that was the ignition that gave him 30k from 1k. Then he put money into Netflix puts twice, one this Tuesday when it dipped from $362 to $356 and on Friday when it dipped all the way down to $350. His third win was Disney puts. He also bought Tesla cars on Wednesday and Thursday once the investor news was out and lastly he bought Tesla puts on Friday, once the Model Y price increased in China. He was up to 250k at one point on Friday, but got distracted with a few meetings and then decided to sell everything. He's not keeping positions over the weekend and here is his plan. He'll remove 130k from the account to his bank. He won't trade until the CPI results are out on Tuesday as he doesn't want to gamble before the CPI. He'll put 25k in a slow ETF stock so that he can continue to day trade and options trade with the remaining 25k. You might be asking, how did he firstly lose 750k in just a week? So he was on a high where he made a lot of money on Tesla call options during the week ending on December the 4th of 2020. Before the end of the day on Friday, he sold out all of his Tesla positions and was happy with 750k. Then Monday morning came, when Tesla suddenly jumped up by 8% on a single day. He calculated his imaginary loss due to early sell, as he would have made 2 million million dollars if he held on. So in a state of agitation he bought Tesla puts and it kept going up. Then he bought cars and it went down. So it was a classic misfortune week. The 484k was his own savings. 750k was with the gain so technically he lost gains plus his own money. However his goal is to make back his savings of 484k. If the CPI results are good he'll buy Google calls because the dip is an overreaction. So maybe one dollar out of the money expiring in 
two to three weeks. And Tesla cars leading up to March the 1st and sell before the conference. So he started with just $1,176.45 on February the 1st and in just 10 days he increased it to $180,271.83 because of a few rules. Don't put everything in one trade. Diversify based on industries and also have different expiry dates. Bet big on the ones you feel super confident. If he has two bad trades in a row, he shuts the laptop and walks away. If he has two bad days in a row, he walks away for a week. And his last rule is to keep transferring money out of Robinhood to his bank account. Well, just huge respects to him and hopefully he makes back the rest of his losses in no time. Anyway, next up we have an insane gain by KRL1988. If it's good enough to post, it's good enough to cash. As we can see, he's up by 2408% or $66,470 because on February the 9th, he bought $2700 worth of lift put options with a striking price at $13.50 and an expiration date on February the 10th. And I guess it's safe to say that he was betting on earnings as lift stock dropped by more than 36% due to a miss on earnings. And he bought puts because of a god feeling based off of Uber's earnings and their increase in market share. Next, we have a huge gain by KK7766. He made over $20,000 with Microsoft calls. He posted a DD when he bought on Wall Street Bats and it was voted to take it down because it was slow effort. His DD was that after Microsoft announced a surprise event for Tuesday, he speculated that it was going to be AI related. So he bought Microsoft calls with a striking price at $260 and $270 and an expiration date on February the 10th. As a result, he more than doubled his initial bet. His next DD is weekly puts on the same stock if the event is a nothing burger. And from that, he already made another 5k. Next up, we have a huge loss by Nokia to the moon, who's asking if he's doing this right. As we can see, he's down by 95% or $10,000.05. And this huge loss is surprisingly not from options. He's down by so much because he bought 500 shares of Aurora Cannabis at an average cost of $20.99 and at the time of the screenshot the stock was trading at just 99 cents. It's honestly quite impressive that he's down by 95% on a stock. He has thought about averaging down but he thinks he'd rather risk his money on one day till expiry spy than throw another cent into this. Maybe he'll be green by 2083. And the worst part is that he's down by 160k from his all time high. Next we have a huge gain by Raza M. We have actually covered this trader in one of my previous videos and now he made an update. He bought 24k worth of Tesla calls on December the 27th, so close to the bottom. He bought 44 calls with a striking price at $180 and expiration date on June the 16th. And right now he's up by 829% or $200,065. He won't hold all of those options till expiry, but he'll likely make a decision closer to the March 1st event. If he feels it's priced in before, he'll sell. If not, he'll hold for longer and and pray the windows don't break this time. And if Google goes close to 80 to 85 dollars, he might buy some long-term calls. And last but not least, we have a huge loss and a nice recovery by one of you guys. This trader is down by almost 99% or $31,020.96 and he lost so much money because he was doing options and basically just gambling on SPY and QQQ. He literally had no idea what he was doing and saw people making huge gains so he thought let me give it a try. He started with 4k but ended up with 31k by adding money to his account every week. He lost 18k on VIAC which is now called Paramount as he saw a post on Twitter that there were a lot of buyers and he just chased them and went all in on calls. He had no idea how to read a chart nor how to read news or do research on stocks. It was straight up gambling. The rest of the money around 12k he lost on GameStop calls and puts. He never had a stop loss and just got greedy in every single trade. But luckily, this is not the end of his story. At one point he was down to just $46 and he managed to get it all the way up to $2,765.25. And if we compare his gains chart with his losing chart, we can see that he became more disciplined and more consistent with his gains. So what changed? He studied charts and candlestick movements and he's taking profit on every single trade and not letting them go red. His stop loss is at 10% and he never goes all in. He promised himself he'll take his account to 100k and I wish him the best. And if you want to see how this trader turned just 1k into $250,000 in just a week, click on the video that just popped up. And if that is not enough, smash the subscribe button as you'll help me out a lot in reaching my goal of 500 subscribers. If you have any questions or recommendations, leave
the comments down below and thanks for watching.